guys so I'm gonna be doing my July favorites I know I'm a little bit late on this but I figure better late than ever I guess we'll just get started I'm wearing a few actually a lot of the things that I'm mentioning in this video are my favorites um I'm gonna start by showing you guys these earrings that I got these are from Charlotte Russe and I just really like them I showed them on um vlog TV before when I was deciding what I wanted to wear in my headshot so I ended up wearing these and ones that you've seen in another video but I don't have them on me right now so yeah I really like these they're really cute just like beaded with silver and like turquoise and blue so really like those another pair of earrings that I've been really liking this month are again turquoise they look like this they're just gold and turquoise and uh, just really cute to wear with just like a plain top just to give it a little bit of color so those are the earrings another thing that I'm wearing are these false lashes I've really been liking them lately because I don't know last month the falsies was like my favorite mascara but then like after a while like after like a month or so the formulation just like kinda got a little bit dried out or like something changed and I just didn't really like it that much anymore and um, I haven't really found another mascara that I really like instead of it. And I feel like it's so much easier to put on false lashes because for me, when I wear a mascara, I have to spend, I literally spend like 10 minutes like curling them and then applying like a thousand coats of mascara, waiting them for them to dry and then curling them again. And it's just like a whole process. So sometimes it's easier just to wear false lashes. So these are the Demi Wispies. Um, they came in this package, but it doesn't say because I don't have the little tray thing. But um, I got them from Walmart, really cheap. I think they were like three or four dollars, and I definitely recommend them. They're my favorite ones I've ever worn because they're natural, but they're still like full and flirty. So, okay, now let's move on into some more makeup stuff. Um, another thing that I'm wearing right now is Max Angel lipstick it is a frost but there's not really any frostiness in there but I really like this uh, it's just like the perfect pink color and now that I'm um, pretty tan like it comes off more as like a nudie pink rather than a brighter Barbie pink I guess so that's that and a blush that really complements that lip color is Max Dolly Mix which I'm also wearing in this video it is super super bright and it might scare some people off but if you have a like a tan skin tone or you just want to try and do a really light hand with it I think you guys would really like this it is a sheer tone shimmer I think I showed this in a, another video I don't even know but um I really like this also my favorite foundation lately has been the Revlon photo ready I use this in my flawless face routine I just really love this stuff. Um, it matches my skin tone really well at the moment. And I mean, it's actually getting a little bit light for me, but it's really nice. It does have SPF 20 in it, so um, just keep that in mind. But it just gives you a nice um, glow to your skin. Every time I wear it, people just give me compliments on that my skin just looks really glowy and um, flawless. So I definitely recommend this for you guys. A lot of people have been asking me, um, isn't there like chunks of glitter? Isn't it really sparkly? No. I, like, you can definitely see a little bit of a teeny tiny bit of shimmer in there. And obviously, like, when you're in the sunlight or some kind of light is shining on you, it's you're going to notice a little bit of, like, a little bit of shimmer. But that's, like, the point. And that's what makes your skin look like it's glowy, if you know what I mean. But it's by no means is there glitter in there or anything it's not even noticeable to me so um, I'm just clearing that up for you guys a another thing that I've been loving is this soft lips lip polish which actually was sent to me along with a bunch of other soft lip, soft lip products if you guys want to see those I can show them to you um, but I really like this um, this is from their new like organic line and it's just a lip exfoliator which I really like um, just gets away gets rid of that dead skin and it also kind of like pumps your lips at the same time because it gets like the blood flowing in there so I really like this stuff if you don't want to buy this I would suggest 
just um, making your own lip exfoliator. You can just use like sugar and honey and then just um, rub it into your lips and wipe it off and it'll pretty much do the same exact thing. So, um, the next thing um, is this Sephora Mattifying Compact Powder. I use this and look, it's broken. I don't know why it broke. I think it broke in the mail because when I got it, as soon as I opened it, this part came off. But like, it's not really a big deal. Um, I use this as I use this as the contouring powder. You probably saw this in my flawless face. I know you guys already seen these products, but I wasn't talking in that video, so I kind of just want to elaborate a little bit. Um, I got the idea for using one of these from Alba Mayo's video. Um, she uses a darker color as her bronzer, and this is in the color warm mocha which is d50 so it's just a really nice brown brown color which um my nyc sunny bronzer is just a little bit too light for me right now i find myself having to layer that on and it just looks a little bit too cakey when i use that so this i don't need a lot i just kind of lightly put it on there and it works really well so last but not least is this sally hansen wax remover wax hair remover wax strip kit um i accidentally got the one that's for like face brows and bikini but i do make one that's just for eyebrows i've been using this for a long time but i figured i'd feature it in my favorites video for you guys and this is what i use to wax my eyebrows i used to get them professionally done but i just like don't feel like spending like ten dollars every two weeks or whatever so i'd ra rather just do it myself these are like six seven dollars you can get at walmart any drugstore and it comes with strips and this and then you just rub it together um you put it to the shape of your brow rub it together and rip it off and it's just really simple easy it literally takes like two minutes um it's just really convenient and then it comes with this stuff for afterward just to like rub on to like soothe so it reduces redness and it moisturizes and all that stuff so yeah I really recommend those if you guys want to see me how I use these um, I can do a tutorial once my brows start to come in a little bit more so um, yeah just let me know and yeah that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys will want to try some of these products out but if you have any questions about anything, definitely just let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.